My dad passed away after surviving two heart attacks. I have low self-esteem. I have been there. Both of my parents are now gone. You have to take it one day at a time. You have to do it for you. You have to break the cycle. It would have made them proud. Hey guys, time to do a quick uh, mailbag Monday. I read mail that I receive and um, the answer that I email back to the person, along with, of course, additional rants. Today's letter we're going to try to get through in one take. I highly doubt I will be able to, but uh, let's give it a shot. I've been struggling with my weight since 2010. My dad passed away after a heart attack. He had a weight problem and several health problems because of it and eating habits. My mother has aphasia after surviving two heart attacks. My family has a history of weight problems. I don't want to have heart and health problems, so I have joined several gyms and even a boot camp. I have low self-esteem and suffer from depression and anxiety. Please help. I don't know what to do. So first, I completely understand and I have been there. Both of my parents were sick. My mother had kidney failure and my father had dementia and Alzheimer's. Um, both of my parents are now gone. My mother passed away from complications from the kidney failure and my father passed away from complications of Alzheimer's dementia. Uh, you just have to take it one day at a time, you know, not talking religion, not talking spirituality, just just have to take it one day at a time you have to do it for you and in the end you'd be doing it in your parents memory and to show them that you'll be okay she is you know fortunate to still have her mother um, but getting your life on track will show your mother that you will be okay you know because God forbid she um, no longer will be with you, she will know that you will be okay. Um, before both of my parents passed away, I was able to get to a really good weight. And I was really happy because that's one of the things my mother really wanted for me. She wanted me to be healthy, you know. Um, she never had weight problems her whole entire life, so she didn't understand. You know, she took me and my sister to Weight Watchers when we were 10 years old, you know, when I was 10 years old. So she just never understood what it was like to be an obese child. For her to see me reach, you know, almost reach my goal before she passed away was something that I am very proud of, you know, that I did something that she was super proud of before um, she was no longer here to get started you know and I've covered this in other videos um, I talked about how I started at home with just DVDs you know now with the internet you have so many avenues that are free you can start on YouTube find exercises that are fun you know and uh, create a habit and as time goes on you'll be more likely to do those things since you'll be interested in them. But for now, do what's fun. Any type of movement to get started is, is good. The food, eat it, track it, don't lie to yourself, put it all in my fitness pal, and slowly lower your portions and change the food you eat. I know in the beginning it can be so overwhelming, but you have to start somewhere so that you don't continue to cycle. You have to break the cycle. I had to break the cycle. My mother cooked every single day did she know at that time that the things that she was cooking weren't the best choices for me no but she that is what she thought she had to do as a mother provide food for her family 
even though they weren't quote unquote the best options, um, it all came from a place of love. Once you start investing in your own self and your own life, you'll start feeling so much better and your outlook will completely change about your life. At the age of 15, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Um, you can Google it. It is a chronic pain disease um, and I had it. It's a disease that most 40 year old women are diagnosed with and they basically told me that, you know, I'm going to have pain every single day of my life and that was hard. I couldn't go to school anymore. I was homeschooled, thank goodness for um, my teachers. They came to my house and taught me um, severely blessed. It took me about four years to get out of the rut of fibromyalgia. Um, I started going to the gym and I did kickboxing because it was fun um, and that completely changed my life and it just all started from there. Um, but you know, I told her to keep me updated. Um, I gave her all my social media and to feel free to contact me if she needs any more help. That is the first mailbag. Um, just wanted to share a little bit more about me um, and a little bit more about my past and the things that I have been through. And it's so easy to forget where you came from because I literally forgot you know, until she's talked about her depression and her anxiety and her low self-esteem, I actually forgot about what it was like when I was 14, 15 years old, you know, homesick. You know, you're a teenager, you're supposed to be going to school with your friends and yeah, it was, it was, it was a hard time. You know, I was overweight, out of shape, um, the medication that they gave me you know, made me gain even more weight. It was just a bad, bad time. But you just take it one day at a time. And even though it took me a long time to get out of that rut, I eventually got out of it. And I've come so far that I actually started forgetting what it was like. So just keep your heads up, keep going. You know, make your parents proud, you know. God forbid, even if your parents weren't supportive, you know, you can do it as a, ha, see, look what I did, you know. Um, for me, it's, see, mom, I told you I could do it, you know. See, mom, you didn't have to worry about me. I, I took care of dad for, what, two whole years, you know. I was his home um, caregiver, um, and that was stressful. And, you know, I just, I do it because I know it would have made them proud. So, I hope you enjoyed today's Monday Mailbag. Um, I definitely have more to come and I have more letters to read and my responses and all that fun stuff. So, have a great day guys. I'll see you next time.